Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today I was going to do a different video, different topic, but this morning during a meditation, I received a very important message for the light workers, star seeds. So I thought today would be the perfect day to share the information, the message, and any other information coming through during the recording. Now I'm going back to the collective. The collective consciousness of humanity is at a crossroads. And we are experiencing quite heavy energies at the moment. Um, energies of fear, anger, which is a form of fear, confusion, uncertainty, creating more division and separation. And Spirit reminded me this morning the importance of uh, light workers and starseed to do the work we are meant to do on this planet during this incarnation. There was an element as well of unity, working together. Okay, getting on with the work is so important now more than ever. First of all, what I would like to do, I'm just feeling drawn to maybe draw a card from an oracle deck. So I'm going to use the spirit animal oracle from Colette Baron Reed and just see if there is maybe another message or confirmation from spirit. Okay, let's see. Okay, that will do. Sorry, I don't wear my glasses, I should be, but... Okay. Beautiful message from Squirrel Spirit. Believe in yourself. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> what I'm getting is... I know for Lightworkers and Starseed, it's been a challenging couple of years. It hasn't been easy, and let's face it, to be a starseed and light worker during these unprecedented times is not easy. It's hard. And I know for a fact, because I experienced it, some days we feel overwhelmed, disillusioned about what's happening in the collective. We're doing our best. Some days, I know for a fact, some days I've felt or I've been feeling very positive because I experienced some positive interaction with people or seen positive things in the collective and I felt hopeful. Other days is totally the opposite. Um, we're experiencing insanity and we are questioning ourselves. What is the point? What is the point I'm doing the work? You know, it's, it's so, so difficult. But with a message from spirit, believe in yourself. It's very encouraging. Spirit is basically saying, you can do it. You've got all the tools within you to do the work you're supposed to do on this planet. The courage, the strength, don't give up. Just persist. This is important. We need you. And there is an aspect... <laughs> And I realized that before. Let's remind ourselves, we are a soul having a human experience. But the human side wants instant gratification. Most of us are hoping that all the work we are doing during this lifetime will see positive results by the time we go back home. I'm not so sure about that. And we need to understand we're here. We're supposed to do a work, a type of work, and we need to keep going, keep walking. And my advice would be in difficult days, challenging days, where we don't feel like carry on, think about the difference you've made, the positive results you've experienced. Just concentrate on those specifically. But spirit is clear. You are not here by chance. You're here because you can do it. 
you can do the work with your brothers and sisters. Now, going back to the message I received this morning, I was shown a scene, like a movie set, with a mother watching her kids. They were all sitting around a table, but they were arguing, bickering, fighting. And I could sense the mother was getting frustrated. And she said once, at one point, just stop arguing, bickering, fighting, and get back to your homework. And I smiled because I knew what spirit, what, what was the message that spirit was trying to convey. Yes, I've been experiencing it a lot, especially on social media. Maybe you did as well. Um, they've been fighting, yeah, in the collective. And we know that, you know, more and more division and separation. But it's less obvious, but we're experiencing to some extent the same thing in the spiritual world, in the spiritual community. I know it's not a majority of people, but it can be disruptive. I've experienced people trying to impose their personal definition of spirituality on others saying basically you had to conform to a certain definition of spirituality, certain approach, otherwise you're not spiritual. And my first reaction was, whoa, 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 hang on. It's, it's not right. We as star seeds and light workers, we should know better about that. To respect with compassion our differences. I know some people, and I've seen it, not many, but some people, uh, it's kind of, uh, it serves an ego pursuit. But we don't need it. My view is, if there is only absolute empowerment or love, okay? If your definition, if your approach on spirituality is different to mine but you're still authentic you are true to yourself you serve people and help i don't have the right to argue about your inner wisdom your inner spirituality i have no right because you're in absolute empowerment or love so spirit is very clear let's stop fighting Let's stop arguing. Let's get back to work. We are all in this together. So let's try to set aside our differences and let's go back to work. It's so important. Now, to end this video, I've got a beautiful message to share with you. Let me find it. And this time I'm going to wear my glasses. There is no way I can read it without glasses. Now, the message, I found it on Facebook about two weeks ago. And it was written by Géraldine Amelin. I think it's a French name, being French. I think the pronunciation is right. And she wrote the message. Um, it's related to a line, a famous line from the movie Avatar which is one of my favorite movies. And I'm going to read it to you. And you're going to understand it is very much related to the information I just shared. I see you is without a doubt one of the most beautiful and powerful phrases of the movie Avatar. I see you being deep inside you where your soul dwells. I see you without judging you, without accusing you of welcoming everything. I see you without expecting anything from you because my expectations and projections could damage you and mask your deep identity. I see you in all your dimensions and rich in all your experiences. 
I see you because I already know that you are a complete and perfect being. I see you. It's my way of welcoming you unconditionally. And that's how I allow you to see yourself and welcome you just the way you are. I see you. Namaste. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to get future notifications sorry, on videos. If you are interested to get a personal intuitive reading, please check my website. You'll find the link below in the description box. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.